Welcome back. This is Sandy with Sandy's Organized Chaos. And today we are going to be doing this boho inspired leopard print and sunflower travel tumbler. This is just slightly more advanced, but that's okay. I know that you guys got this. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more tips, vlogs, tutorials, all kinds of stuff I have coming your way. So grab your favorite drink and let's get to this. I started out with a 30 ounce uh, skinny tumbler from the Stainless Depot. I also have a navy that I purchased from Recollections through Michaels, but use whatever type of glitter you have on hand, your favorite glitter, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I have some A and B all mixed up, one ounce each from Illuminate's Amazing Clear Cast. And I'm just going to put just a little bit more than you typically would on there because we're going to be applying this glitter with the epoxy method. I'm just going to lightly sprinkle, well, it doesn't look like I'm lightly sprinkling it, but I am. I'm going to lightly sprinkle this all over the tumbler and then I'm going to let it sit for a minute and then I'm going to add just a touch more just to make sure anything is all filled in and then I'm going to place it onto my turner and let that dry or cure, not dry, for about three hours and then I will be ready to add another coat of epoxy over top of this. After about three or four hours, I'm going to give it a nice uh, coating of my spray sealer. I like to use Rust-Oleum's Two Times Ultra Cover. It's the best, I love it. <laughs> I like to do that so that way when I apply my next coat of epoxy, it doesn't happen to make any little fish eyes. So I'm just gonna put that back onto my turner and I'm gonna let that cure for about 12 hours. You want it to be completely dry before we move on to the next step. Now I use some sunflowers here. You just do a basic search and you can find sunflowers anywhere. I mean, they're all over the place. They're on Etsy, you know, every, everybody sells some type of sunflowers. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these printed out on a white water slide paper. And I'll make sure to put everything in the description below that I used. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get that printed out and then we're going to move outside and we're gonna give it a nice coating with our clear coat here. Again, with my two times ultra cover. Doesn't matter if it's semi-gloss, matte, um, you know, it, it doesn't matter. It all look the same once it's under epoxy. What I like to do is go side to side, up and down, and then give it a couple swirls and it's good to go. I've never had any issues doing it this way. Now, because I did use a white water slide, I went ahead and after this was dried, I put it back onto my mat and finished up the cut and print on my Cricut. Yes, I know, I typically don't do that, but like I said, because it's white water slide, I didn't want any of those little white spaces to show. Now that my tumbler is nice and cured, I'm gonna take a razor knife and I'm gonna clean up the edge really well. I just like to take it and, and run it along the edge and even kinda come down just a little bit and then I'm gonna take my sandpaper and just kinda smooth it out and that's pretty much it for prepping it for the next step. For the stripes, I'm gonna be using electrical tape and then I have some two inch uh, painter's tape that I'm gonna be using as well. I'm also gonna be using these nifty uh, shakers that I've had over the years to make my lines nice and straight. I have my dry erase marker and all I'm going to do is place it right on top of my shaker here and hold it down nice and steady on a flat surface and just twirl the tumbler around to get my first line going. Now what I'm going to do next is take my electrical tape and I'm going to go above that first line and I'm just gonna go completely around the tumbler, just following my line all the way around. Now for my second line, as you can see, I stacked another one of my shakers there and I'm gonna be doing the same exact thing. But once I'm done with this, oh, nope, I changed my mind. See how easy that was? You just wipe it off and then you can do it all over again. I, there must've been a lump in it or I wasn't holding my, my marker down very well. <laughs> But once that is done, I'm gonna take my electrical tape and I'm gonna go below this line. The last one we did, we went above it. This one, we will go below it. Now I'm just going to repeat that process on the top where I stack my shaker. And then the line, the first line that I do, I'm gonna go above it. And then the second line that I do, I'm gonna put my tape below that line. 
Now for that line at the bottom, all I did was measure, it was about two inches. And then I just measured down from that last, that bottom piece of tape that I have. And that's how I got my last line on the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and take my two inch painters tape and just kind of fill in the middle because we have to go outside and spray paint. As you can see here, I made sure that my lines, or not my lines, but my stripes were about two inches. And that's again, how I got the stripe there on the bottom. Now I'm just gonna wipe all those marks off that I made and then I'm going to be using, I think it's Smoky Beige. Yes, Smoky Beige for, by Rust-Oleum for our base coat for our leopard print. So I'm gonna go ahead and give that a nice coating of this and then I'm gonna let it sit out there and, and dry probably for about a half an hour before we move back inside for the next step. I know that it's starting to get cold in some places and some of you guys it's hard for you to get out there and spray paint but if you use acrylic paint for your base coat it works just as good it, it's completely fine whatever works best for you guys all right now we're ready to do some leopard print i have my mod podge and i have my little epoxy tray dish thing that i like to use for these kind of projects I'm just gonna put some of that into my dish. I probably didn't even really need that much, but whatever. <laughs> now you just wanna use your favorite champagne color. I'm just using Recollections. I have my tumbler here and I'm actually gonna put it back onto my wand so that way I can set it up to dry and I don't have to touch anything. Now I'm just gonna take a brush, whatever brush you have on hand that you like to use for using Mod Podge. Just go ahead and use that. You just wanna load it up really well so that way that glitter has something to stick to. You wanna make sure there's not any little peaks or valleys because you'll be able to see that through the glitter if you do that. So there it is, and I'm gonna let that, well actually I'm gonna set it off to the side. I'm not gonna let it dry yet. I'm gonna set it off to the side, clean up my area real quick, and then I'm gonna remove the tape before that glue dries because I don't want my tape to be glued to my glitter. If you let that sit and let that glue dry, it will peel up all that hard work you just did. So you don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel the tape back. Now I'm gonna set that off to the side and let it dry. Now, if you're impatient, you can take your blow dryer to speed up the process, but I had some other stuff I had to do. So I just let that set off to the side for about 30 minutes to an hour. And then I'm gonna come through and I, see, I'm gonna tidy up some little spots here. Just kinda tuck that back in, just tidy up a little bit. After that has dried, I'm going to take my electrical tape and I'm going to block off those areas one more time so that way we can move on to making those spots. Now that everything is all taped off, we are ready to move on to that next step. I am going to be using a chestnut brown. This is also by Recollections, but please feel free to use any of your favorite colors that you have on hand. Now I'm gonna take that same brush that I used earlier and I'm going to just very abstractly make dots. You don't want perfect circles. You want it to look natural. You want it to look like it's almost like fur. So what I do is I just dab it and I just make, just make these kind of half dots and kind of se like semi-circle dots. Now there's no right or wrong here, guys. I, I say it to you all the time. Whatever you feel is the correct way it should be done, please do it that way. This is just how I do my leopard prints. Now I'm gonna take that chestnut brown and I'm gonna do right on the glue there, sprinkle it on. I'm gonna shake that off really well and then I'm gonna move on. Oh, I don't know what that was. I think it was a piece of uh, the top from out of the from out of the glitter. Anyways, <laughs> there we go. Now I removed it. <laughs> I'm gonna shake that off and I'm gonna keep on going with my spots. I want you guys to know that you're doing an amazing job. No matter how you do these tumblers, I, I've seen all kinds of striped tumblers and I was so excited to show you guys this technique because you can do it any way you want. You don't have to do leopard print. You don't have to do sunflowers. Wherever your, your imagination takes you, I just want this to be inspiration for you guys to always try to step outside of that comfort zone and push yourself to your best artistic ability. I know you guys got this. Again, you want to let that sit and dry really well before we move on to the next step. You can also take your blow dryer if you're impatient. <laughs> 
Now that it's nice and dry, I'm just gonna sweep away any of that extra dark brown glitter and then we'll move on to the black glitter portion of it. Now that my area is all tidied up there, you just wanna use your favorite black. I'm just using Onyx from Walmart. It's a Walmart brand. It works just as well. It's very sparkly. I, I don't mind using it, so it's okay. Whatever black you like. I also have some black acrylic paint, and I don't wanna use this brush that's too big, and I moved on just to a tinier brush, so that way I could get those lines the way I want them. Now I'm just going to go ahead and open up my, my glitter there so it's all prepped. I'm gonna take my acrylic paint and I'm just going to, again, very abstractly, go around the outsides of those brown spots with my black. You wanna make sure that you load up that acrylic paint really well so that way that glitter has something to stick to. If you need help with figuring out how to do the black lines, you could always go online and find some images that you like and kind of go from there to kind of give you a basic idea of how to do the black. But in nature, all these spots look different. All animals' spots, they're relatively the same, but all the, the designs are completely different on each one. So however you do it will be just fine. And I'm gonna take my black and I'm gonna sprinkle that on to my tumbler. And then I'm gonna remove my tape as well. And then we'll move on to the next portion and I'm gonna repeat that process where I paint the black lines around the outside, apply my glitter and remove my tape. Now that I'm almost done here, I'm just gonna slow it down one more time and kind of show you guys me putting the glitter onto it. <laughs> but after I am done, like I said, I'm going to finish peeling off that tape. Then I'm gonna set it off to the side and again, take your blow dryer to help it with the process of drying or you can just set it off to the side and let it dry for about an hour if you guys want to, whatever, whatever works best for you guys. But you wanna make sure that that acrylic is nice and dry before we move on to the next step. Now everything is nice and dry and I just kind of swept away any loose glitters that were anywhere in between so that way none of that black was stuck in my champagne color. I'm gonna come through and take my sunflowers because I want some half sunflowers, some full sunflowers. I'm just gonna prep those up. Now you can use any size sunflowers you want. I think I used I think it was an inch and then I used an inch and a half size sunflowers, but you guys can go bigger, you can go smaller, whatever you guys want to do, completely up to you. These are just ideas for you guys. Now for anybody new, as you've seen, I stuck my water slide paper into my little jar of water I have there off to the side and then that will help it release from the paper backing and then you just slide it right onto your tumbler. Now here is completely, again, completely up to you. There's no right or wrong in art, guys. Wherever you wanna place these, place them. It's gonna be beautiful, I just know it. Now as I place these down, I make sure that I get all that water out from underneath because if you accidentally leave any water underneath there, it will make little white bubbles underneath and we don't want that. So I went ahead and I just made sure all that water was rubbed out from underneath each one of these little sunflowers. <laughs> And then I am going to set that off to the side. Oh, hold on, there we go. Now I'm gonna set it off to the side and I'm gonna let that dry probably for about 15, 20 minutes. You don't really need to let these dry for too long. You can let it dry for longer, whatever you wanna do. <laughs> now I went ahead and I mixed up some A and B from Illuminolite's Amazing Clear Cast to make my epoxy. And I'm gonna stick that off to the side and, and let that sit for about five minutes. And while that's doing its thing, I'm gonna take my semi-gloss uh, two times ultra cover and I'm gonna go outside and spray my tumbler really well. You want it sprayed down very well. So none of that glitter shifts whenever you go to apply your epoxy. As you can see here, I rubbed my hand across no glitter that's exactly what you want so that way those designs stay exactly how you want them the reason why i went ahead and mixed up my epoxy beforehand was because i wanted it a little bit thicker when i applied it to this coat because i only wanted to do one more coat before i applied 
my vinyl uh, stripes along it and you want that to be super smooth when you go to apply your vinyl stripes especially if you're using a type of vinyl that will show any little lumps so you want to make sure that you load this up really well make sure you get your bottom make sure you get up along your rim really well you're gonna let that cure again for another 12 hours you don't want it sticky at all before we move on to the next step now again I'm gonna take my razor knife and I'm gonna clean up my rim really well because I like to do that in between every step that I do I always come through and clean my rims really well now let's add those finishing touches now to create the design that I did on these sunflowers because I wanted it to have a rustic chic boho look these markers were absolutely perfect. Arteza had sent me a pack of these and I can't wait to try them out and show you guys how they work. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and I'm gonna go over the colors just for a little bit with you guys and then we'll move on to finishing up this tumbler. Now this pack that I'd gotten, you get eight inside of here and these are absolutely beautiful metallic colored markers. So this first one I have is a blue very pretty I can't wait to use that on something else and then the next one I have is a pink or a berry color and then we have a red which I'm going to show the pink next to the red so that way because it's kind of hard to see on the camera sometimes <laughs> then there's an emerald green color next is an olive green color that you get and then we have a purple or a lavender and then of course we have this gold it's almost like an antique gold and the silver but what I'm focusing on here is this antique gold and as you can see the tip here it's perfect for making any little tiny details that you want to make so let's put those other ones off to the side and I'm gonna come down here with my marker and I just wanted to do just like outlining of the sunflowers that's all I wanted to do now this is completely up to you guys if you want to do this part I just really felt like it needed it I felt like it went, my, my design would not have been complete without this happening on the sunflowers. I felt like it just really added a little bit more character to it. So essentially what I did was I just made petal shapes right along the outside here. And then I'm going to come back through and I'm going to fill in the sunflower. I'm just going to make a ring around the outside ring of that brown sunflower. And then I'm added just some dots here and there, just kind of give it a little bit extra flair. Again, whatever you guys feel you need to do, do it. This is just how I wanted to do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and then I'll bring it in closer to kind of show you guys exactly what I did. And I just wanted to let you guys know as well that these markers were sent to me by Arteza to give them a try and to show you guys. Now there is a link below that you guys can find these items and at no extra cost to you, I do get a little bit of money, but that goes right back into my channel for you guys. And I know a lot of you already use Arteza, so that's extremely awesome. I know you guys really love this product. So here up close, you can see my sunflower and what I did. Super easy. Just adding just a little bit of extra detail to those flowers. Now you just want to take that creativity of yours and completely go around all those sunflowers. Just jazz them up just a little bit with these markers and they'll be ready to move on to the next step. Okay, now that I'm all done with that, here is what I did. I really like how that turned out and I hope you guys like it too. And I hope you have fun making these as well. Now I am going to print out the pinstriping that I'm gonna place around the leopard print to kind of just finish it up and add just a little bit more to it. Now you can make your stripes any size that you want. It is completely up to you. I am actually using an antique vinyl or an antique gold vinyl that kind of match the antique gold that I did on the sunflowers. 
Now I'm gonna take my vinyl and I'm just going to place it right above the leopard print. I'm gonna wrap it completely around and then I'm gonna take my X-Acto knife and I'm gonna trim off any extra. And then I'm just going to continue to repeat that process where I put my pinstriping right above or below the leopard print and then we'll be ready to move on to that finishing touch of epoxy. Now that that's all done, I'm going to place my tumbler back onto my wand. I'm gonna take it outside, I'm gonna give it a nice coating of my Ultra Cover Clear, clear Hair, my two times Ultra Cover, there we go. <laughs> and I'm gonna give that a nice coating of my, my clear coat. I have my A and B mixed up and I made sure that was nice and warm again. So that way it gives us a nice smooth finish. And I'm gonna rub that in really well. Now, I only wanna do maybe one more coat after this. So I kind of loaded it up a little bit thicker here. You just want to make sure it's not too thick on your bottom so it doesn't get all lumpy. I come through and I make sure I rub in the rim really well. And I'm gonna let that turn on my turner for about 12 hours and then I will stand it up to let it continue to cure. I let my tumblers cure for about three days before I ship them off or if I plan on using this myself, Again, I wait about three days before I take my first drink out of it. <laughs> and there she is, all done. Whether you take this idea and make it as is, or you take it and let it inspire you to create something completely your own, I hope that you guys had a lot of fun watching this today. Again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell, so that way you don't miss out on any more tips vlogs, tutorials I have coming your way, and I will see you guys next time.